Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast. We are going to be solving this engineering mechanics uh, problem and it reads uh, determine the moment of inertia over the cross sectional area of uh, the T beam with respect to the X prime axis passing through the centroid of uh, the cross section. Uh, this problem is coming from uh, the engineering mechanics uh, statics uh, textbook 13th edition by R.C. Hibela. Uh, moment of inertia of an area is also called area moment of inertia and is also called second moment of area. And this is the geometric property of an area or a shape such as the cross section of uh, the beam which describes how the area is distributed around an axis. An axis where we want to find the moment of inertia of an area. Mathematically, moment of an moment of inertia about an area about uh, moment of inertia of an area about the x-axis is defined as i sub x equal to integral of y square dA. Moment of inertia of an area about the y-axis is defined as i sub y equal to integral of x squared dA. We are also being asked to first find the centroid along the y-axis, which is defined as y bar, uh, y bar, this is y bar is equal to the summation of y curl. These are the local centroid locations of the parts defined times area divided by summation of the area. All right, so let's define the parts quickly. Uh, let me start with this one, uh -huh. like so. So that will be our part one. And then let's define the other part like so. Okay, let's define the coordinate axis. Let's use, okay, something like this. Something like that. So this is X, this is Y. All right, so let's define uh, the, the, the centroidal location with respect to the y x axis. So we have this one. Okay, we have this. We have this. Okay, sorry. That, like so. There, like so. And there, like so. Great. So there we go. Okay, what happened to this? There, like so. Okay. So we just make it look better. And there we go, something like this. Okay. Right, so uh, we can now define this quickly. Okay, there we go, they are like so, and they are like so. Mm -hmm. So this one is our Y killed. We've named this as our one, part one, and this is our part two. So this is y equal to equal to a half of 13, which is just a 15. And then this one, this one we can name it. Okay, not good enough. Let's say we do this. So let's say this is our y. It means uh, like, so our y equal to 1, which is equal to half of 1. 50 which is a 75 plus 30 
so this gives us a one zero five all right so let's find the area let's find the area so area for part one will be equal to well, they've got the same dimensions right it's going to be area for part two so just going to be equal to l times b times 30 by 150 therefore this gives us this gives us area of area area one equal to area two which is equal to uh a four thousand five hundred right of course so just say 4.5 10 to the power 3 great all right so let's find this y bar first let's fill in this table we have part and then we have y tilt we have area we have y killed area we have one two three I mean one two then this one is summation for part four 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 uh, centrally the location for part one we say this is one zero five and then the other one with respect to the x-axis is 15 the area is the same for both okay And the total is just a nine. All right, the products we have one zero five by four point five. So this one gives us a four seventy two. This is a four seventy two. 472.5 472.5 then we have a 15 by 4.5 this one gives us a 67 a 67.5 67.5 plus 472.5 gives us a 514 All right, so we have y bar, which is equal to the summation of y killed area divided by the summation of area, which is equal to 540 divided by 9. 540, here there is a 10 to the power 3. 10 to the power 3 and then 10 to the power 3 okay so 10 to the power 3 of course it will cancel out and then we have a 10 to the power 3 okay so this gives us a 60 see the 60 millimeters that is our y bar so this is a 60 millimeters so once we find this, then we can find um, these other distances, which are, we have this one here, this one, and then we have also this one. All right. Okay. Okay, let me all right this one goes properly like so okay so this one here we'll call it as y prime cal one okay and then this one we'll call it as this one we'll call it as y cal I killed prime two. Okay, and then we'll define them. 
we are going to define them y cloud prime one is equal to uh is equal to uh y cloud one minus y bar which is equal to 105 minus 16 and this gives us a 45 right of course a 45 105 minus 6 is a 45 and then one cloud one cloud prime 2 is equal to uh, y bar y bar minus y cloud 2 which is equal to 16 minus 15 and this gives us 45 right so let's fill in this part let's find this local centroid centroidal uh, local centroidal moment of inertia of an area so local centroidal moment of inertia this is about the x-axis so for part one it's a rectangle is just bh cubed divided by 12 our b is a 30 and our h is 150 to the power 3 divided by 12. This gives us that's 30 by 150 cubed divided by 12. We have 8.4375 times 10 to the power 6. And moment of inertia for part 2 is also a bh cubed divided by 12 this is equal to uh, 150 this is equal to 150 times 30 to the power 3 divided by 12 so we have 150 by 30 cubed divided by 12 Mm -hmm. 150 by 30 cubed divided by 12. So this gives us a 0 0.3375 by 10 to the power 6. So let's fill in the table quickly. So we have part, and then we have the local centroidal moment of inertia of an area about the x axis. And we have a uh, y cloud prime, and then we have area, then y cloud prime square times area. So it's one, two, and summation, and then we have 8.4375 by 10 to the power 6, then we have a 0 0.33. 7, 5, 10 to the power 6. And then if we are to sum up that, it's 8.47, 8 8.4375 plus 0.3375. Okay, so this is 8.775, 8.775, 10 to the power 6. Then the local centroidal uh, locations from the centroid of each part to the axis of interest. Uh, what do we have? We have um, for the part one, we calculated it as a 45. They are the same, in fact, right? They are all the same. And area also is the same, it's just 4.5. 10 to the power 3 and the 4.5 10 to the power 3 so 45 squared let's work out now 45 squared 
times four point times four point five. So this gives us a nine point a one one two five ten to the power six. Okay. And it's also similar here. All right. And then summing up the two, we have eighteen point uh, two two five ten to the power six. Okay. The moment of inertia about x prime axis is equal to centroid the moment of inertia plus plus y killed uh, prime squared times area which is equal to 8.775 times 10 to the power 6 plus 18.225 times 10 to the power 6 i um, yes therefore moment of inertia is equal to Let's sum up this. We have 8.75 plus 18.225. So this gives us a 27. 27 exactly, right? 27, 10 to the power 6 millimeters to the power 4. Let me add it again. 8.75 plus 18.225. Okay. Right, let's write down the summary. We have y bar, which is equal to uh, 60 millimeters. We have i sub x prime equal to uh, 27 10 to the power 6 millimeters to the power 4. Okay. So this is uh, the final solution for our problem. Uh, we found uh, the centroidal distance along the y-axis and uh, its moment of inertia about the x-prime axis. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing, and like my channel. Bye-bye, and see you in my next uh, screencast.